I was in uh, Horgosh like uh, 10 days, I think. Uh, there is no life. There is only shit and garbage and something like that. No doctors, no food, no anything there. And the weather all the time, it was very raining. Not only raining, very raining. And it was very cold. And we made uh, fire because the weather, it was very, Where did you very, sleep? very cold. On the field? On the floor. On the floor? Yes. Without Open anything. Open sky? Yes. I have pictures also. Mm -hmm. I have everything about that. Mm -hmm. And after, uh, after 12 days, we entered to Hungary legally from the door, like everybody. Uh, when we entered to Hungary, the first thing, we were in some container to checkpoint and some checkpoint and something like that. Some day I was sick, uh, stomach and something like that, and I cannot sleep. And I told him in the morning. And he took me, some guy from the army with gun. He took me to the doctor and uh, the doctor also from the army. And when I was with uh, this guy from the army in next to the container for the doctor the doctor i think i i don't know but i think he told him wait because i don't understand the uh, hungarian yeah. language and after that he pushed me to the back by gun without any reason i swear we have the first interview with uh, some translator, he's from Syria. I think, I am not sure, he's from Latakia. The first interview, like 10 or 15 minutes, he will ask you about your name, where are you from, why you left your country, and something like that. And the most important thing, you are Muslim, you are Orthodox, you are something like that. I don't know why. And we are, and I told him, we are in Europe Union. You cannot ask me that. We left our country because a lot of people there. The war for Muslim and Orthodox and something like that, and we are humans. After these questions, these bad questions, mm -hmm. uh, he will ask you, uh, you want uh, to take asylum or to mm -hmm. ask about asylum here in Hungary, you need or you should to, to tell, uh, to answer yes. Because if you answer no, he will deport you. Immediately. Exactly. And after that, I told him, yes, that is with all the people, not only with me, legally. And after that, uh, uh, he, he gave me a lot of papers to sign and something. And after that, when he asked me about, uh, you want to ask about asylum here in Hungary? I told him yes. And he told me in the same moment, the government in Hungary, they refused you. But <coughs> you can to continue that. Mm -hmm. And he gave me another paper to sign. And that's it, the first interview. I was in the second interview. He asked me uh, why you left Syria. And I told him why. And he told me about why you didn't stay in Syria, because Syria need you now for the war. Syria, your homeland, and something like that. And I told him, I don't know to, to use uh, or to take gun, and I don't want to know that. And I left Syria because I don't know to kill anybody also. I am a human. And uh, I left Syria because there is nothing in Syria now. Only bombs and uh, war and something like that.